Phoenix, Arizona has more sun per day than any other major U.S. city. And that sun helps attract 22 million visitors every year for business and pleasure. But if you can escape from the daily grind, just 45 minutes down the road, you could find yourself 4,000 feet above the Sierra Estrella Mountains at Arizona Soaring. That's Phoenix just to our right. Correct. Wow. I'm Vanessa Yurkiewicz. And I'm Chris Moody. We travel a ton for work, and so do you. But you can still get in a bit of adventure before you have to hop back on that plane. A quick tip on flying. Delta allows Diamond and Platinum Sky Miles members to gift status to people two tiers below them. A Platinum member can give someone silver and Diamond can give gold. Talk about an upgrade. But with my instructor, Jason Stevens, I didn't need status to glide at 145 miles per hour. This is a pure sailplane, so no, no engine of any kind. How are you able to stay up in the air that long? So basically the, the wing, when it moves through the air, it creates high pressure underneath and low pressure above. So that creates a lifting force. And that is what is giving us a slow descent rate back to the earth. All right, come on over and we'll All get right. you suited up. Okay. Since we're going to do aerobatics, the FAA wants us to wear a parachute, I'm just in case. 100% okay with that. Yep. If there's a problem, I'll yell, jump, jump, jump. All the seat belts come apart. Then you can crawl out the side of the aircraft. Crawl, what? Yeah, and jump out, yeah. No. Oh my God, all right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have never had to okay. <laughs> ever jump out, ever. So I'm pretty sure today will not be the first time. After a mini meltdown, I was strapped in. All right, here we go. The glider is towed to altitude, and then the fun begins. The school has turned out some national gliding champions, including Jason himself. And it brings back repeat customers looking to be able to glide on their own. It's truly but after my turn in the driver's seat, I think my flight is best left to the professional. Who gets to do this? 